Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Roland with This Guy Loves Guns and I will be showing you the Zastava ZPAP 92. I actually picked this one up recently and uh, actually I picked it up in December um, 2021. So just recent, a couple months back. And this is going to be my personal review of this gun and yeah, just give you my feedback on it. If you like a lot of guns or if you want to see some more reviews, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because I'm going to be bringing out a lot more videos. But anyways, let's get to it. Let me first do a close up of this one once more. It's, it's a little dirty. I uh, have been using it recently. Haven't really taken the time to clean them, to clean them. But uh, hey, better used than dirty than shiny and freaking just not being put to use right this gun right here is top i love this gun right here uh, so i have the z pad i have the uh, zastava m70 as well and i'm gonna do a review on that one love that gun but when i take this one and the m70 to the range people love this gun right here so everybody loves to shoot this one it's a bad motherfucker you know it's very nice compact I, I do have a sling for it. I should have uh, included it in the video, but hey, we are where we are right now. But um, I'm left-handed, so you're going to see me carry my guns a lot, like, on this side. The window side is badass. Uh, I actually, it, it may come up in question. So this magazine right here, I actually picked this one up from Archangel off of Instagram. Go ahead, check him out. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and post his link below, so feel free to connect with him and just let him know I sent you. And then he'll definitely take care of you, send you to his website. This is a 40 round magazine. I picked it up for probably like 60 bucks from him, maybe less, I, I, I can't remember. But I picked up the Battle Worn one as well as the Black uh, black Mat. Definitely a good deal on those, great work. Uh, but all in all, this gun, love it. Uh, some of the features of this gun that you're going to be able to find on the website of the Zastava, Zastava Arms USA website is uh, obviously it's going to talk about the wood furniture. It's going to talk about the chrome line barrel. Uh, this 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 uh, mount right here was a SB Tactical, so it did not come with this mount. So depending on the website that you go on, you can get it with the mount already. However, it does come, or not the mount, but uh, the brace, my bad. Uh, but the mount on it, the 1913, uh, that does come with it. So it was a perfect fit. Uh, the, the, the brace, I got it from uh, JMA Customs, I believe. So check that out. And then one of the other features that you can like about this gun is what I really like about this gun is this right here, the hinged uh, top cover. Uh, and one of the reasons I like this one the most is because it's very easy to take on and put right back on. You know, with my Draco, that one, you know, uh, it takes a little bit long because you got to line things up. Or maybe I'm just not that good at it, but this definitely keeps everything simple. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And then some of the modification that we're going to be doing with this bad boy right here is we're going to be changing out the furniture. I am, I, I do have furniture that was like back ordered um, by Kalashna Carver check him out his shit is badass so i'm getting some new furniture for this one and my draco as well uh from him and my m70 but so we're getting new furniture on this bad boy we're going to be putting a some kind of optic i've been messing around with red dots and everything getting some information by the way thank you for everybody that uh has been uh sending me suggestions on different uh, you know options that they've had so thank you for that definitely keep on looking into it uh, I'm also going to be changing out this, the, the muzzle device right here. There was one that I was really interested in. It was a, it was going to be a, some kind of suppressor. However, I can't remember the name of it. I just know that they're always out of stock. So if you guys have any suggestions or an idea of the wait time on some of the best out there, then please let me know and I'll uh, definitely appreciate that, guys. But all in all, guys, uh, again, my review for this gun is this is a bad gun right here. Everybody that I bring this around, they would rather shoot this out of all the guns. That, that all the, Out of all the AKs, this one right here is the bad motherfucker. So, all right, guys. So, appreciate you uh, tuning in. If you liked what you saw, feel free to share it and hit that subscribe button. And I will talk to you again soon.
take care guys